Today, Fox 13, your money investigator, Kate Beery, is asking respiratory therapists if residents need to worry about their health in these living conditions. Now, we warn you, this story is disturbing and disgusting. A case, if you have a weak stomach, close your eyes. Renters say this toilet paper, the human feces and flies were not here on Tuesday. That leads them to believe that this problem is not yet fixed. Gross. Soggy toilet paper and feces. It's a feeding ground for flies at University Gardens Manor in Midtown. Tell me what you call this place, sir. Dookie Land. Why do you call it that? Because it smells it smell bad, it smells like toilet. After our story aired last week, a city spokeswoman confirmed codes officers cited the complex for raw sewage. Management told me staffers did make repairs, but this new leak started in the middle of the week. Is it a health hazard? Dontavius Wiseman is a tenant with asthma that we met last week. I was sick for like three to five days. I was missing work. OK, like I couldn't pay my bills. It's a respiratory irritant. It's irritant to your eyes. St. Francis Hospital respiratory therapist Margaret Wildman told me septic gas can absolutely irritate the lungs of a person with an underlying condition. How dangerous could this be to live next to long term? Oh, that would be horrible long term. The director of respiratory therapy at Baptist agreed. Anyone has any breathing impairments relative to breathing in such things, such as any kind of wastewater or any sewage, things of that sort, it can cause a compromising situation for them. Tenants are just tired of tracking this into their homes. One man called the courtyard. Dookie land. Yes, ma'am. It's dookie land. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's bad to say, but it's a good night in the call because at least you know what it is. Tenants demanding a permanent fix to this problem. Now, you might not know the renters in this story, but these are our neighbors in Memphis. And if it can happen to them, it could happen to anyone in this city. Following your money, Kate Beery, Fox 13 News. Now,